Voting is such a cool topic. I, I was on a panel today here in Bangkok and talked about it for a little bit. But yeah, you know, what really blew my mind is I was listening to the Joe Rogan experience and he had these two guests on who were, one was a mathematician, the other one's like a philosopher or poli-sci professor. I can't remember his field. But they just got so tired of feminist theory that they said, you know, we're just going to try to debunk this whole thing and show that peer review sucks in that field and these people aren't real academics. So how would you do that? Well, you write, you write fake papers as fake people. You submit them for peer review. And if it's a real field of science, they shouldn't accept those papers. They would recognize them as fakes and say, this is crazy and reject all of them. So they wrote 20 papers in a single year and eight of them ended up getting published is pretty crazy if you think about it. And uh, they, they started just getting crazier and crazier because they were pushing the envelope. And in one particular case, they took Mein Kampf, which is Hitler's book, and they replaced white, uh, they replaced uh, Jews with white male or whiteness, uh, you know, white privilege in, in Mein Kampf. And it, it, the damn thing nearly got published. It was pretty crazy, uh, you know, when you look at these these reviews. So uh, it's privately, a lot of professors uh, came up to them after they, they announced publicly that they had done this this uh, this uh, spoof and said, we support you and we think this was very valuable work and uh, we're getting real tired of identity politics and you know where these universities are going and the toxic environment there that's censoring differences of opinion. So then the guy said, hey, can you support us and, you know, write an open letter or, you know, back us up? And they said, oh, no, it's career suicide. Couldn't possibly do that. We'll face brutal retribution. So when you think about voting systems, it's not necessarily just about picking a particular political candidate. It's about the ability within any organization or institution to express your opinion safely. The CEO is an asshole and he's toxic to the environment. Identity politics is really bad. Right-wing extremism is really bad. Uh, Bob is embezzling. 85% uh, of lost confidence in this particular pedagogy. Whatever it might be. You know, in a traditional system, you're always fearful of reprisal and you're always fearful that someone's going to find out. But one of the magics of these blockchain systems is they allow you to orchestrate very secure, high-fidelity elections that preserve privacy, but still guarantee that the right members actually could participate and only the right members could participate. The very same thing that allows you to properly account your currency and guarantee double spending hasn't happened and currency hasn't been created in thin air in a system like Zcash is the very same thing that would allow you to vote for Bob over Bill uh, or say that maybe we shouldn't have journals that allow you to publish Mein Kampf with the world substitution. Uh, you know, these types of things. And nobody would know that Charles voted for that or Charles voted against that. Pretty amazing thing if you think about it. Uh, so, uh, so yes, I, I think voting systems are tremendously important and their development is vital for a republic you know, or a democracy to function well or for us to make decisions well or express ourselves well. You know, sometimes the truth hurts. And nobody wants to be that guy or that gal that's standing out there naked and alone in front of the mobs and takes the brunt of criticism because they had the courage to stand up. But if we know that we can express ourselves without fear of retribution and we can get our opinion out there, I think the world can be a much more honest place and we can make much better decisions overall. So uh, this is a very important area of research for us, not just because it allows us to run a treasury system or decide on what the next fork of Cardano is. It talks about the governance of all systems, whether it's a Boy Scout club or a small business or a multinational corporation or a government or an academic institution or a religious institution. Uh, for example, if you think of the Catholic Church, wouldn't it be nice if maybe it was a bit more democratic in the church of who gets to pick the pope than having a bunch of cardinals you know, go into, the, uh, go into a chapel in Rome and white smoke comes out? You know, and uh, wouldn't it be nice if the voting was done in a way that was less political? Maybe you get a better outcome. Maybe you get a more fair institution that would be more receptive to the issues and the abuses that have happened. Uh, you know, because people understand that there's a greater degree of accountability and transparency in these types of systems, and yet their their interests are still protected. Uh, so I think it's a very fundamental thing. And if anything, the cryptocurrency space accomplishes, if the whole fintech side and the regtech side and 
uh, the property registration side and all these things fizzle out and they don't really take off and we all still use SQL for this shit. If we can, uh, if we can still get a good voting system out of this and use this uh, to help us make better decisions collectively for all institutions at all levels and preserve our privacy and our autonomy, uh, then I think that's probably still makes blockchain the most valuable invention of the 21st century.